Hey gents, today we're diving into my latest made to measure suit from Articles of Style. There's not a lot out there about this company in the way of reviews, but there is a lot of interest, so I'm very excited to dive in. I also partnered up with the Peak Lapel on this review. He covered their made to measure shirt options. I did just the suit. So if you want to learn more about the Articles of Style made to measure shirt options, I'll link to that review below and you can check him out. As we jump in here, make sure you subscribe to learn about the best menswear on the internet and see more from brands like this and give a big thumbs up for made in the USA menswear. And if you have any experience with Articles of Style, let me know below because you guys really chimed in on Alan Edmonds and I really want to hear from you about articles of style also. If you want a custom suit, there are a few options out there. It used to be you just went to the local tailor and it was very expensive. Now they've moved a lot of this process online. I still think going local and in person is the best way to go, but if you want to go online, there are dozens of options. There's Oliver Wicks, there's Black Lapel, there's Indochino. I could basically stand here for a few minutes just talking about the explosion it made to measure over the past few years, which is what I get a lot of interest in on this channel. But Articles of Style tries to combine the best of both worlds for a very smooth online process. Unlike the other online only options, they do offer a basic garment, which is traditionally used in bespoke menswear. That fitting garment process also lends itself to personal fit consultations, which I'll show you the online process for that. And then finally, they make all their stuff in the USA, apparently in the same factory that Brooks Brothers has used or uses in the past. Very interesting. So I'll walk you through the process that I went through and then let's get this thing on. It has been killing me sitting here in a box as I've been traveling for the past few weeks. The first step, of course, is choosing the suit. And there isn't a huge selection that you can choose from, but the idea is you have a very curated, specific collection of high quality garments that you can choose from chosen by the AOS team. Everything you can choose from is very beautiful, but then my eye was really caught on to one specific garment. They have a pretty good rendering engine as you pick your styling, and there aren't a ton of customizations if you're comparing them to other made-to-measure companies, but they have everything that matters. I chose peak lapels, a simple pocket layout, side tabs on the pants, and then I have a lapeled vest as well. I'm now thinking I should have went with cuffs on the pants. I didn't, but you can't live life with regrets. I went with the Donegal three-piece suit in navy for a grand total of 135574 the first step is putting in basic measurements, your height, your weight, and your shirt sizes. There's no measuring tape required, but this allows them to give you a really good fitting garment or a basic garment, which they will send to you in about four weeks. I placed my order on December 8th. My fitting garment came exactly one month later on January 8th. Now keep in mind that I did span the holiday, so it might be a little bit quicker, but they do quote about four weeks for this process. The basic garments fit very well. The pants were nearly perfect. The jacket was very close. And then I uploaded my photos and just put a couple notes in there. I talked about how usually I have some pooling on the top of my back with almost all the made measure companies which you've seen so far. I do have this shoulder thing where my shoulders aren't symmetric, but they do cover alterations at your tailor once you get the final garment. So I'm not too worried about it. So then on March 1st, my final garment arrived and let's get that open up now. The suit is packed well. It's the same big box that my basing garments were sent in where the hook actually hooks into the box up top. So it's not folded up and shoved into a box like some of these other made to measure suit companies that I've ordered. The weirdest thing is that there's no garment bag. I think every suit I've bought online so far has had a garment bag from the $200 Hockerty one up through you know, my Lanieti one, which was about $1,200. The wool silk combination feels incredible. It's so soft, but it does have this really nice strength to it while also being extremely lightweight. Online it says this is a chest canvas construction, so I would put that closer to half canvas, definitely not full canvas. As you can see, it's totally unlined on the inside. It's meant to be the very breathable and very lightweight garment. So I threw on my Leadberry shirt that I used in the original fitting garment, and this thing feels amazing. So quality, fit, style, price, and overall experience. Let's dive into each of those. The quality on this is incredible. It just goes to show that you're getting what you paid for these made to measure companies. I don't know any other company that is gonna be sub $1,000 that offers this level of the wool and silk blend. So you don't really compare articles of style to somebody like Black Lapel, Oliver Wicks, and Indochino because they don't offer a fabric anywhere close to this, which is perfect positioning for articles of style. You're just not gonna compare a Camry to a 5 Series. Fit feels like it came out amazing. You guys always let me know though, one way or the other, but I don't have nearly the type of denting and pooling on the back of the shoulder that I usually do in these made to measure companies. So that's a big plus. The sleeves are about perfect on this. The Leadberry shirt is just a little too short for my arms. And so I just won't wear the Leadberry shirt with this shirt. I'll go with one of my custom shirts, which is perfect. The rise on the trousers came out perfect. I love having the higher waist on these and the break is perfect as well. I usually like having a lower rise on my like chinos, my daily wear pants so that I can accentuate how tall I am. But in these more traditional Additional trousers. Not only do I love having no belt loops and the side tabs, they come up nice and high under my vest. The vest fits well. Overall, I'd say 10 out of 10 on fit. 
As for style, I found myself just falling in love with the styling and the aesthetic of the Articles of Style brand. There's a book that was included in the box which has you know all the imagery that I've been looking at on their website. So I just find myself very much aligning with the brand aesthetic of Articles of Style. So I think for styling, uh, 10 out of 10 too. As for price, 1355.74 is the steepest made to measure suit that I've had on my channel. It's not the price of a full bespoke, but it's definitely more than other made to measure companies. But like I said, you're getting what you're paying for. All the fabrics and the raw materials that are used by Articles of Style justify the higher price. It's just a matter of, will you get the value out of the suit that you are purchasing for the price? If you're only gonna wear a suit twice a year, don't spend $2,000 or even $1,000 on a suit. You can get cheaper suits that will look pretty good. But if you want to look incredible, if you will get, if, you're, if the cost per wear of the suit will be justified, I think you wanna go with the best quality that you can get. I also love that it's made in the USA. Sure, this very fine wool and silk blend was made in Italy and then they shipped it over to the US and then they paid US crafts people to make them. So I think that's worth supporting. The overall experience has been great. I love the fitting process. I love that you can send the information into them and let them know some of the tweaks you might need based on the garments that they send you for fitting. Now, the fact that it takes almost three months to get a suit definitely means you need to plan ahead on this. You know, there are suit companies that'll get you stuff very fast, but I'm okay with waiting, getting the proper fit. Now, they also don't have a set limit on the alterations you can get. So you can go to your tailor, they'll reimburse you for alterations. Some companies have like a $50 limit, some have up to 125 for alterations limit. There isn't any specifics on the website for this, but what they'll do is if you go get your alterations, not only will they reimburse you, but they'll update your profile based on the alterations that were done so that any future garments are gonna be perfect on there. Because like all these companies, they just wanna get you to have the right fit so you can then order future ones with no, you don't have to go through the garment fitting process, you don't have to go through all that. So you can likely get a suit in a month if you get that profile perfect with Articles of Style. So there you have it, gents. That is my Articles of Style suit. I really wish I would've had it for the Menfluential Conference a couple weeks ago so that I could have gotten some nice photography with it. But now that that's neither here nor there, I'll be wearing this probably through the year because it's gonna be very sad if the suit sits in the closet. Uh, I'm gonna have to wear it all the time because it's just, it's. I wanna sleep in it, it feels so good. I do want to hear from you if you have any questions about Articles of Style or the suit itself. I know there was a lot of pent up demand for this review as there are for my others that are on the slate. Thank you to everybody who comments and shares the channel. That's the reason that I do this and who keeps me accountable for the videos that I should be working on. So if I miss anything, let me know. Check out the peak lapel for the shirt review. And until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. This isn't actually a black eye. My daughter hit me with a toy when we were having fun. So I look tired almost. It's a weird placement for it, but uh, what are you gonna do about it?